Um, good day everyone. I am Sofia Dorothy T. Quintanar from DVM1B and I am here to act as a veterinary nurse who has to attend a new patient and a client. The reason for their visit in the veterinary clinic is that the client's pet is due for its vaccination. So I'll be showing you how a veterinary nurse will be doing before and after the vaccination of the patient in this podcast. The table in the exam room must also be thoroughly disinfected. Always greet the patient and the client. Um, good morning, ma'am. How may I help you? Good morning as well. Um, my dog's vaccination for um, rabies is already due. That's why I would like to take my dog for another vaccination again. When was the last time the dog was vaccinated? Um, I think it was last year, ma'am. Ah, okay. So I would like to ask you to um, fill up this form. And um, is the dog um, aggressive with other people or not? No, it's just very friendly. Always ask for permission from the owner to be informed and alert about the animal's behavior towards others beside the animal's owner. Never forget to read the body language of the animal before approaching. Sit down, sit down. Um, so, um, um, are you new here in this clinic? Um, yes, I'm new here. Uh, okay, do you have a health card from another um, clinic? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, thank you. So uh, I would like to confirm, ma'am. So the name of the dog is Kai, age three. Yes. Um, her uh, the date of birth is January one, twenty eighteen. Yeah. Species is canine. Breed is mixed. So uh, female, and the color is brown. Mm -hmm. So she's here for um yearly rabies um vaccination. Yeah. Okay. So in Cases of history, um, parasite control, um, have you given um, tick or flea uh, pre pre preventives, um, deworming, heartworm uh, preventives? Yeah. Okay, she's completed that. So in diet and nutrition, so how many times in a day did you feed her? Uh, two times a day. Okay, so two times a day. So is she given any supplement medications? None. Okay, so... Um, in genetic history, does she has a problem on that? Um, none. Okay, is she staying indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Okay, um, is she in contact with other animals? None. Okay, um, what do you describe in her behavior? Um, she's very friendly. Uh, okay, so thank you very much. Okay, ma'am, I will be taking her body weight. Yeah, sure. Okay, Miss Kai. The weight should be established when the animal enters the exam area. In an absence of a large scale, you may use a standard bathroom scale. Simply restrain the animal and lift it. Then both their weights are checked. The restrainer's own weight is deducted from the combined weight of the restrainer and the animal to get the patient's weight. Minus 48.8. So, may I have the form? So, she weighs about 18 kilos and 0.4. The rectal temperature is often the first to be checked before vaccination. The animal must have a normal temperature when it receives a vaccine. In taking the rectal temperature of the animal, first disinfect the tip of the thermometer with alcohol. Insert one fourth to one half length of the tip of the thermometer into the rectum and tilt it slightly so that it would touch the rectal wall. The normal temperature for a dog should be 37.9 to 39.9 Celsius. In taking the heart rate, auscultate the cardiac area which is at the point of the left elbow. So the dog's heart rate is about 77 It's per minute. So we Count the 
number of heartbeats within 30 seconds and multiply it by 2. The resting heart rate of a dog should be 70 to 120 beats per minute. Her respiratory rate is about 30 breaths per minute. The dog's respiratory rate should be 18 to 34 breaths Check. per minute. Mm -hmm. Always take note that vaccines can be administered by veterinary technicians and assistants, but only under the direct supervision of a licensed veterinarian. It is against the law to provide vaccination services without a license. Vaccines are considered biologicals and must be kept refrigerated. The vaccine is administered through the SQ route. Apply exam gloves. Wipe the top of each vial with alcohol. Obtain the liquid diluent vial and invert the bottle. Insert the needle into the center of the rubber vial. Remove entire contents of vial into the syringe. Withdraw the contents into the syringe and remove the needle from the vial. Recap the needle. Label each syringe with a peel-off label or a piece of tape indicating the contents. Place the syringe in the treatment area. Administer the vaccine carefully but swiftly. Then rub the injection site with one hand and praise the patient. Boy, brave guy, you brave. Hmm? Giving treats will also help establish trust and promote positive reinforcement. So I would advise that the animal must avoid stress for the rest of the day and to avoid batting for the next few days. So um, just follow the schedule of the vaccination here, um, vaccination program to avoid failure in establishing the immunity. So it is also important that Sky must remain quarantined um, indoors for a while. So avoid contact with other dogs um, within uh, a few days. I would also like to recommend that it is, import uh, it is common for um, some pets to experience some or all mid side effects which occurs usually within um, ours uh, post vaccination. So she might experience swelling at the site of the vaccination, um, mid fever, um, decrease of appetite and activity. So, um, tonight. And if ever Sky is um, experiencing persistent vomiting and diarrhea, or itchy skin with hives, swelling of the muzzle and around the face, neck or eyes, severe coughing and breathing, um, difficulty, and if she will collapse, uh, please contact us immediately because this, uh, this can be an allergic reaction from the vaccine. Um, this is a less common side effect, but can be serious if the animal is not attended immediately. Okay, sure. Thank you so much for accommodating us very well. You're welcome, ma'am. Um, you may proceed to the cashier for the payment and um, thank you very much as well. So, goodbye. I'll see you soon. Thank Bye, you. Sky. Bye. Clean the area where the patient was vaccinated and checked. Use disinfected spray to clean the area, wiping with tissue. This is to ensure good hygiene and safety for the staff and other animals. Empty vaccine vials and used syringes are considered as medical waste and requires careful disposal. 
The needle must be capped on before being separated from the plastic syringe. The needle is a sharp object that is contaminated with animal tissue. It must be disposed in the appropriate bin that is labeled for sharp objects. The syringe is disposed in a different bin that is exclusive only for used syringes. Some clinics and hospitals will clean and sterilize used syringes to be recycled for giving oral liquid medications. Like needles, vials must be properly disposed in a bin exclusive for only vaccine vials. All stickers on a vial must be removed before disposal. They are not recommended for recycling. So that will be all for my podcast, and I hope you um, learn something of, of the responsibilities of being a veterinary nurse um, during vaccinations and what are the things that he or she, as a veterinary nurse, would be doing um, in this scenario. Thank you very much, and see you soon. Bye!